Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you are new here on this channel, we talk about law of attraction, spiritual development, and making you believe that all things are possible one step at a time. I just want to say a big thank you to all the new subscribers and every one of my subscribers. Um, it actually just truly touches my heart um, that people are subscribing to me and um, it just helps me believe that people are believing in my content. Um, so I want to say thank you. We did reach over 100 subscribers and that makes me feel really good. But I do want to make it known that if you are my subscriber and you aren't um, being aware of all my videos that are coming out and you aren't seeing all of them, there is a bell notification that if you click that, every time I post, um, you will get alerts that I have a new video out. So if that is something that you're interested in and still want to continue watching my videos, I would click that. If you are new, um, hi, hello, uh, feel free to subscribe. That's just a way to give back to me with all the content and information that I provide for you. And that's it for that little talk. So let's get into the video. So usually when I make my videos, I am pretty good at researching and writing down notes and then my video will be done that way. But lately I just don't feel like taking notes is where I'm at mentally. Like mentally and making a video, I just wanna sit down and just see what comes out because it's very interesting to me on what I know. It doesn't make me feel like I'm better than anyone else that I can't research um, other people's information. I just feel like what I talk about and if I don't take notes really, really comes from the heart. And um, that's, kind of what I'm trying to get out for like, I mean, the videos that I've been doing, if that makes sense. I mean, you didn't even have to know that, honestly. So this video that I think what, what I'm gonna lean towards um, is embracing the darkness that you have in your life. I was supposed to do this video with my twin and it's just really tough, like I said in one of my other videos, that it's just hard to get two people together, two different schedules, two different energies, two different like just all in one it's just it is a little difficult um unless you're really really prepared for that but it's just not me <laughs> so i want to talk about this because i think that it's really important for people to know that when you're going through any of these dark times that one you're not alone you're absolutely not alone. And that's one thing that I feel is very important because I feel like growing up and going into so many different situations and even currently to this day, you always feel alone. You always feel like, am I the only one that feels this way? Like, is there something wrong with me? And I'm, I'm going to be the one that tells you, no, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you. We all go through these things. And I feel like that concept is starting to be brought out a little bit more. Like people want to like encourage people and embrace people in what what is going on and what we are and what we can do and what we go through. And I just want to do that. I want to be that person for someone because I feel like going through a lot of situations, I didn't have anyone like that. I didn't have videos to go to because it's always about people's best lives and what they're doing and what they're promoting. And it's, it's always, like to me, it always felt like fake positivity, felt like fake lifestyle, fake relationships. And I just, I don't, I wanna be completely upfront. I wanna be like, yeah, I fucking struggle. Yeah, I go through these things. And the reason why I feel like it's really important to be okay with that is because that's how we become strong. That's how we become our strongest self is when we go through these dark times. And I know in the moment, like you just get so down on yourself, like you're not good enough and that you failed and that nothing is ever going to work out for you. And the thing is, is that the reason why we feel that way is because we have limiting beliefs. And once again, our limiting beliefs are, is a belief system that we start very young. And we continue that belief over and over and over until that's just what we believe. Like nothing else exists. Whatever we thought along the way is it. That's it. That's my life. You ever hear that from anyone? Like, like anyone you talk to? Oh, that's just my life. 
Oh, I could have guessed that. I've been there. I've struggled and I've been there and I still go through it. But the thing is, is that the limiting beliefs and the way that we think, our brain is structured a certain way where just think that we have wires and circuits into our brain and we placed them into a very comfortable, snuggy spot that no matter what we do, we're going to continue the pattern that we, we've we developed over the years until we decide, fuck this, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not going to be like this anymore. I don't want to feel like this anymore. You really have to get yourself out of that. These wires can be unplugged easily. Well, I wouldn't say easily. They can be unplugged, but you have to start rewiring them. That's the only way and it's only going to help with hard work. Now, recently I came across a couple of my old notebooks. Not sure why I keep them when I'm done with them, I just do. And um, I ended up moving and then I ended up going through some things and I went through my old notebooks. A couple years ago when I started really applying a positive mindset every single day and I really just I'm so proud of myself. I, it, okay, so if you're doing this, I would suggest keeping old notebooks because you can look back. Cause like no matter what progress you're going through, whether it's mental, whether it's physical, anything, you will always think that, oh, I haven't changed. Oh, I'm still the same. Nothing's happening. But then when you have something to look back on, you really see your growth progress. It's incredible. And I sit there and I'm just so proud of myself because I, some days I just get down on myself like, why am I upset? Why am I going through this? And then I realize I used to be so much worse than I am now. And until you have something to look back on, because we can't mentally think that, especially in those moments, that we have changed, we have grown, we have gotten better. Trying to change your conditioned old ways is not fucking easy. It is not easy. So basically, what we have to do in order to really get to that advanced self that we want is we need to fake it until we make it. That's probably the best way I can describe how we can try to rewire our brains and our conditionings to get to that point. And a lot of you might try this concept and be like but it's not true but i don't fucking feel like this okay i get that but our bodies if we are feeling down sluggish what are we doing like we're we're hunched over our heads are slightly down and even if you do that okay so if we're like up let's try this together okay we're up we're happy slug your shoulders put your head down and just kind of just sit there in that moment. You start feeling not that great. You just kind of start feeling like, eh, eh. Okay, so now that we're there, let's, let's put ourselves up, let's get ourselves up, put your shoulders back, put your head up, smile, very fucking important, smile, and see how you feel. That's how easy it can be. We can trick our mind with our body, like the way that we are positioned, I guess we'll say. So if you are feeling, or if you are in a pretty depressive state of mind or just upset, angry, try it. Try putting your shoulders back, put your fucking cape on. Act like you have a fucking cape on, you know, like you're fucking Superman and keep your head up, smile it's going to change your mood like it that's it, it just it's going to happen our body physically can't not feel good when we're in a feel good position you feel me like i said the best way i can describe that is fake it till you make it because once you start tricking your body your mind doesn't know the difference it will not know the difference our body can play tricks and different roles so much and our bodies and minds are so fucking powerful that we can ultimately change our state of mind no matter what 
what state of mind we're in. No one can make you feel shitty. No one can make you feel bad. You hear this all the time. Oh, I just, I, I feel really fucking angry right now. I've, I'm really pissed off. I'm really pissed off right now. Why? Because this fucking guy cut me off and it just, just fucking pissed me off, you know? It ruined my fucking day. What? You're, you're telling me that that guy that may have made a mistake, I don't know, because we all make mistakes when driving. This is why I don't have road rage anymore. We all make mistakes. And when someone makes a mistake, unless you're running and ramming into my car out of like chaoticness and like ignorance, I understand that people make mistakes. So I don't get road rage anymore because I know I make mistakes on the road and I know I feel shitty in those moments. But anyways, anyways, just a, a new way to look at road rage. So I'll just I'll give you that. But this person is pissed off at this other person when all reality, what the fuck, you know? So you're telling me that this person made you pissed off, made you feel shitty, made you have a bad day? Nope, no they didn't, you did, you did that. Only we can choose our emotions and how we react to different situations. No one else, no one else can do that for us. It's just the way we think of the situation on always blaming someone else. Always blaming someone else when we have to stop, we start blaming us. We can be the root cause of everything, but we have to start digging deep and understanding why we're feeling that way. Why did we react that way? Why are we getting upset? Why are we blaming? I don't know why I'm getting so... I'm <laughs> sorry. I just get a little passionate about this because I have been in such dark times and dark places and dark mindsets. And that's not to say like, yeah, give me sympathy because I felt real shitty at one point in time in my life and still do to this day. We all go through shit. We all go through so many challenges and so many lessons and they get brought up in so many different oof, situations like things where you're like, why? Why, why that? Why did that happen to me? You know, but I'm grateful for every challenge that I've struggled through. I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't have the mindset that I have today. I wouldn't be talking to you guys today. The first video that I made on YouTube with this idea, this concept, I felt so at home and so at peace. And the best part of it is that I'm helping myself by helping others. I'm learning and growing while you're learning and growing. We're, we're growing together. Like it's, that's how the, like the circle goes. And I am so happy to be a part of it. I'm so happy that whoever contributes to my channel and watches me and learns something from me and accepts me and believes in me, anything that helps in that shape or form, like, I'm just overjoyed and just incredibly grateful. Being in dark times did that for me. I would not be here if I didn't struggle as much as I did. So I really want you to take the concept of really embracing the dark times. I know it's going to be really fucking hard. And I know it's going to be hard, especially in that moment to get yourself out. I still struggle every fucking time to get myself out. But guess what? Every time it gets better. So maybe next time I cut an hour off. Maybe next time I cut a half hour off. And then slowly it's like, okay, in that moment, I feel like this. All right, next moment, let's fucking do it. You know, there. years ago, I, I would let it last a whole day. And then eventually it got to a few hours and then just a couple. And now it's just like, in the moment and you will get there. You will get there. We are so powerful and I just, I want you to know that I believe in you and I know that it's possible for you to get to where you want to be. 
you can get to that mindset. I know this is really cliche, but like, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> but with like, in my mind of what I went through and what I felt like I went through was just like fucking awful. You can do it. You absolutely can fucking do it. So just believe in yourself. Really, really just fake it till you fucking make it. Start changing your body. Start doing those positive affirmations. When I'm crying, like if I'm hysterically crying about something, if I'm just crying about something, what have you, I, the whole time, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I know I'm okay. I know this is okay. I know it's going to get better. I know it's going to get better. I'm constantly saying that when I'm bawling my eyes out about hating something or something not going right or something happened. Like, I'm constantly, and even if I have like a little bit of like that, like self doubt in the front, like that, that like s positive talk is still shouting over that. So I'm still, you know, it's just, you know, the cycle that I'm going through. But when you're crying, like just try that, try the body language, like try changing that body language and um, always smile because no matter what, when you smile and you let it go, you're still going to be smiling. All right, well, I'm sorry for the long talk, but um, that's, that's how I feel. That's where I'm at. I truly believe in you. I know it's possible. I know you can get through this. I know you can get through these dark times. Like, embrace them. Fucking embrace them because these battle scars are showing our strength in what we went through. We don't have to keep telling people like, yeah, I've, I've been through this. Like, just know it in the back of your head and then feel empowered to where you're at today. The thing is, is about when we start feeling really shitty about anything, we want to get sympathy from someone because that ultimately is going to make us feel better, but it's not because we're still going to be in that state of mind while someone's like feeding us. Oh, are you okay? Are you all right? Can I do something for you? No. I want to do it. I don't want you to try to like, it's okay to have like input. It really is like, we do need those kind of people, but like, don't try to feed off it. Don't try to grab that um, sympathy from people because it's not going to, it's not going to help you. It's not, it's not going to build up your strength when you just constantly want people to feel bad for you. Like if you want to feel bad or if you want someone to feel bad for you, feel bad for yourself. Be like, yeah, I fucking feel bad for her. Me. Let's try to help that, you know? So that's where I'm at. That's the information I wanted to give to you today. Um, and then that's it. So if this video resonated with you at all, please give it a like. Um, it will help out my channel a lot. If you feel like anyone else needs to hear this video, please share it. It's going to help spread my word and just kind of grow this little collective tribe that we got going on. And if there's anything that you want to know, if there's anything that you want to see leave it in the comments below and last but not least which i should have said this in the beginning <laughs> i am a life and mindset coach if there's anything that you are struggling with if there is anything that you need help with whether it's relationships mindset positive growth personal growth anything i'm here for you i will leave my email linked um, below in the description reach out to me we can go over anything that you want um, and go from there so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, I hope you stay true and namaste. Bye.